So you will need some skirt steak, you can use ribeye, you can use anger, whatever you like. This is just a skirt steak, I season it with a little bit of olive oil and salt and got it to room temperature. Then some pimenton or smoked paprika, just a little tomato, one avocado, I add the radish, I'm gonna add it into like my kind of pico de gallo, a little onion. Uh, corn tortillas, you can do flour, I prefer corn. I'm gonna add a little capers and sea salt, a little lemon, extra virgin olive oil and uh, red wine vinegar. The first thing I'm gonna do is just take some of the pimenton, the smoked paprika and just put it on the steak and just rub it all across. It's gonna give us a lot of more smokiness and more depth of flavor. I mean, again, this is not your traditional taco, it's not an al pastor, it's just my version of, you know, a home New York City taco. It's like the beautiful part. You can pretty much do a taco with whatever you have in your fridge. It's like, okay, just massage it. And it's at room temperature and we're ready to grill. In the meantime, let's just make a quick guacamole or like a version of it. I just cut the onion, chop it super fine or thick, however you like it. And then I just like to, you know, rough chop it in little pieces that I can feel, but they're not, to overpowering, just like that. Simply, we put it in the bowl. Okay. Then same thing with the avocado. Just remove the little top. Let the avocado slide and never the knife. Twist. The avocado is ripe. One hit, take it off. Boom. So here we have the avocado, the onion, I put just a little bit of pepper, salt. I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of lemon. Of course, lime would be more appropriate, but that's all I add. Good amount of olive oil. And then you go ahead and you smash it and you do it whatever, as fine or as thick as you want it. Grill, do it on a grill, my cast iron is pretty hot. I'm gonna go ahead with the fat side down and just grill it like this into a medium rare. So let's say you just flip it when it has a nice crust. When you see whatever you want your steak, this is about like a rare to medium rare. I'm gonna take it out and just let it rest for a couple of minutes. So the guacamole is ready. You can put it on the side, put it in the fridge if you're gonna consume it later. Now let's make the quick salsa. Here I have a little ravanello. Not sure how they call it in English, just like a radish. It's uh, very bitter if you don't cook it, but I like to just have like little dices so that it brings much more freshness and acidity to the dish, just because like the skirt steak is a very sweet, the guacamole is very sweet, and just cut, you know, just little pieces, just like that, and we're gonna put it in our tomato salsa. Very simple, so we got the radish all nice and cut up. We put it here, then I'm gonna go ahead with a little bit of the Thai chili, just a little bit, this is very spicy, but again, it's Mexican, so you should probably do it more spicy. Then I like to add just a couple of capers, uh, just take it away, I mean, this is like the, I guess the Sicilian version of doing a taco, but it just brings very good saltiness and umaminess roughly chop the capers. No need to just like take the salt away. I'm not gonna add any extra salt in the salsa itself. I'm just gonna use the caper salt, which is a seasoned salt, much more uh, delicious than the tomato. Just because this is like for two taco that I'm making for myself, just a little piece of tomato is fine. And then, you know, just cut it in chunky pieces, a little, as big as you want. I like to have my tomato relatively like chunky, so it's like, keep it like this. Perfect. We go ahead in the bowl. We go ahead with the olive oil. Then with the red wine vinegar, just a touch. And we mix it in and we have uh, our pseudo salsa ready. Now the pan that is still hot and has a little bit of the fat from the meat, we just like put our tortilla you can fit two, fit two, otherwise don't, don't overlap it, otherwise you're gonna have a weird flavor. And just warm them up. When your tacos are ready, when your tortillas are ready, always put it in a towel and keep them warm. I'm gonna warm up the second one. In the meantime, our meat has rested. Just some of the resting juice, I am going to put it in my tomato salsa, you know, not going to waste. It's gonna make it even more delicious. 
I'm gonna slice it up very simply. As you can see, it's like the medium rare that I want. And I always like to slice it in half and then go against the grain this way and just keep it pieces like this. I mean, you can chop it up into cubes, you can do whatever you want, but. Mm. So good. To me, this is like the perfect way of slicing skirt. Just do little cubes and then go against the grain. Yeah, now let's go ahead and, and build the taco. I mean, realistically, you could put herbs, you could put whatever, but that's the beauty thing of the taco. Like you just do whatever you want. Here's my corn tortilla. I'm gonna start just a little bit of the guacamole. And it's eaten fast. It doesn't matter like, you know, if you want to make traditional one, this is not a traditional one, but it's just the idea of like, you know, you can do whatever you want with a taco. So I put my guacamole, then the steak, then I'm going to go ahead with some of this, like, you can call it pico de guy, you can call it, I don't know, like whatever you want. And then I actually had some uh, hazelnut, the roasted hazelnut left in my fridge. I'm just going to put a little bit on top just for extra sweetness and texture and voila here you have my quick taco